This Pixlr tutorial is going to look at selective colouring. How can you change the colour of an image while leaving some parts of it intact or creating a grey background? So there's two images here. I'm going to use two different methods to change their colour. The one on the left, the eggs in the carton, I'd like to change the colour of the egg in the foreground to a different colour using only hue and saturation. Whereas the one on the right, like to make that totally grey, except leave the pepper in the middle in its original colour. So in Pixlr, I'm going to open an image from the computer and start with the eggs in the carton. And in this image, I'm going to use the lasso tool to select the egg and then use hue and saturation to change the colour. So first thing you need to do is select the lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, which is a little bit more accurate than trying to use the free lasso tool. So in order to select this egg, now I could, if I, if I found it difficult to see, could use the navigator to make that bigger. But in this case, it's going to make that a little bit harder to select it. So we'll make it its normal size. You can only do little stroke so once it starts to curve click it to anchor it and then keep going till and clicking every time it seems to curve till I can select the whole thing trying to be as accurate as I can once they meet double click to join them and then we're going to use hue and saturation so an adjustment hue and saturation and I'm going to move the hue slider up and down until I get a color that I like so I can go it's going along the, the color wheel so you haven't got you know all sorts of colors you can choose from but if I wanted to make that a blue egg and I could use saturation and move it to the right to make it an even brighter blue egg. Or make it a bit lighter by going using the lightness slider. So I'll just keep it as a blue egg. Then OK. And then edit. Deselect to change, to uh, remove the lines. And then save that image. It'll save it as a JPEG, 100%. And call it a different name, so blue egg in carton. And save that into the downloads. Now the only limitation on using this method is that you're limited to whatever colours are in the colour wheel. So I can change them all here, different colours. Doing it this way, I can change the colours on all the eggs. So depending on the colour, original colour. But if you only wanted to do the one, you have to select that part of the object first. Now the other way we're going to change the colour, close that one, I've already saved it, so I don't need to save it again. Open the image and open the vegetables. Let's make that a bit smaller. And in this one I just want to have a completely grey, but just have the pepper in the middle in its original color. So to do that I need to duplicate the background layer. So I go to layer, duplicate, and now we've got two uh, backgrounds and the one that's ticked, the copy is on top of the one in the background. So the foreground layer, the one that's called background copy, I'm now going to use hue and saturation and saturation to make that completely grey. Then OK. Now using the eraser tool, and it will depend, uh, you have to be quite uh, precise when you get to the edges. So I can change the brush sizes. So maybe if we go up a bit. So once it's magnified, it's a bit easier to see. So all you do is paint over that foreground layer so that you reveal behind it the original background. Now 
And as it gets closer to the edge, change the brush. So we don't go over the edge. And the bigger, if it's a big object, it's a bit easier to have it magnified so you can do, you have a bigger area to paint or erase. As you reduce the magnification, it gets a bit easier to do the edges without going over them too much. And there you have it. Selective colouring. We've got the one object that has retained its colour and the rest seemingly is grayscale and that's been done simply with layers. Then I'll save that image to the computer as a JPEG. And call it a different name so I still have my original. Save. So we're going to have a look at these pictures. So the blue eggs in the carton. That's original size. There's sort of a little bit I missed at the bottom there. So you have to be pretty precise in your selection when you're using the lasso tool and the coloured vegetables. It's its original size. And that one could look quite effective. Right, that's all for this video.